All right, guys, BJ here with New Orleans Secrets. Hope everybody is doing good and staying safe out there. We've put out some really good stories, and we were asked with some new ones to pick something. Tell a story, tell about your favorite drink in the city, your favorite meal. I thought I'd try to combine a couple of those. Now, I won't say it's my favorite drink, but I will say that I've had more than enough of these, and they tend to lead to the most exciting stories. And that would be a flaming Dr. Pepper. Now, anybody who's been to the gold mine, I am sure has had a wonderful flaming Dr. Pepper. And we'll get to the particular preparation of it in just a minute. Okay, wait a second. This is the part of the video where I'm supposed to tell you that the flaming Dr. Pepper originated in New Orleans at the gold mine, right in the French Quarter. It's also where I had my very first one sometime in the mid to early 80s. We, we don't want to go there. It is now worldwide, but you can still get the very best one right there in the French Quarter when they open back up. All right, back to the video. I've enjoyed them for years, and with luck, I've had the ability to travel all over the world. And being someone who likes to share, I always thought it was appropriate after a few cocktails, to convince the bartender that, hey, this would be a great thing for me to show them how to do if they had never seen it. I've had the opportunity to teach this drink in Hong Kong, in Africa, all over the United States, but I had one serious misadventure, and that was in Miami. It was the 90s. We were in a very high-end bar. You know, one of those places with all the stainless steel and very glitzy and way above my normal level of drinking. It was getting late, and my friend and I were in there, and the bartender was cute, so we thought we'd teach her how to make this drink. Now, as you can see, I've always had a mustache. Long as I can remember. I think I was born with one. And sometimes it's been a much more grandiose affair. And it will come into play in just a minute. So, the basic rules for building a Flaming Dr. Pepper starts off with a beer mug and about half a glass of beer. So I asked this girl behind the bar, can you get me a beer mug? She said, we don't have beer mugs. I'm like, well, what do you have? Well, she has a, a wine glass, a large throated wine glass. If you remember, I said I'd been drinking I said, that's perfect. Bring that with half the beer. So she did. I said, well, the next thing we need is amaretta. Give me a shot glass full of amaretta. Can you believe this bar didn't have shot glasses? I said, what do you have? She's like, I have a cordial glass, which is basically a shot glass on a stem. Remember, I'd been drinking. That'd be fine, bring that. Then you need to top this amaretto with some sort of flaming alcohol. Usually Everclear, 151, something like that. She had that. So she puts a splash on top. She wants to know now what? Easy, light it on fire. You can imagine the looks you get when you tell them to light your drink on fire. But she does. The next step is to take your shot glass, if you have it, in my case, a bizarre cordial, cup, uh, cordial glass, and drop it into the beer. The beer should extinguish the flames. It will foam up, and you slam it back, and it tastes just like a Dr. Pepper to your drunk self. On this particular occasion, I picked up the glass. I dropped it in. Did I happen to mention I was drinking? The stem, of course, held the amaretto and the 151 above the top of the beer. I didn't notice, I picked it up and slammed it back, immediately splashing flammable liquid all over my mustache and lighting my face on fire. So now I'm covered in beer with one side of my mustache flaming and my friend beating me about the face and head to put me out. You, you can imagine we didn't make any points with the girl. She did remember the recipe for later though. <laughs> 